friends, welcome to STEAM Time with Sarah. I'm Sarah, the STEAM educator at the Greensboro Children's Museum. Today, I'm standing on my front porch, which is decorated for Halloween, because today we will be talking about something creepy crawly, spiders. Even though spiders can seem a little scary, most spiders are not dangerous to humans. One of the most well-known facts about spiders is that they build beautiful webs. However, did you know that the silk that spiders make their webs with is stored in their abdomen as a liquid, and when it shoots out, it becomes a solid to create the thread that we see here. Another fun fact about spiders is that some spiders ball their web up and throw it away before creating a new one, while other spiders choose to eat their web before creating a new one. Isn't that neat? For our creepy crawly activity today, you will need a square sheet of paper, a sharpie, some paintbrushes, some watercolors, and a bowl of water. If you would like, you can have some fake spiders and a ruler to help you with straight lines, but those are just optional. So the very first thing you want to do is start off with your square sheet of paper. You're going to make a line down the center, and if this is the part where if you want to use a ruler, you can to make your lines more even. Then you're going to turn your paper and do another line down the center. So you're going to kind of make a plus sign on your paper. You're then going to do a line diagonally across on one side, and then diagonally across on the other side. It's okay if it's not perfect. Then you're going to carefully make kind of like the letter U in between each line. Try to make sure that your lines match up. Again, if it is not perfect or not super even, that is okay. You're going to continue to do this until your paper is all the way filled up. Once you have created your very own spider web on your piece of paper, it is time to paint. I used watercolors on my spider web, but if you don't have watercolors, it's fine to use a different kind of paint. Remember as you're painting, this is a very messy craft, so make sure you're painting in a space that you can easily clean or a space that it's okay to get dirty. Continue painting all of the white spaces in your spider web until it is completely filled with beautiful color. When I was all finished painting my spider web, this was my end result. After you finish painting your spider web, give it a little bit of time to dry. After my painting dried off, I took some very fun fake spiders and glued them onto my picture. This is completely optional and you do not have to do this part. Either way, your spider web is going to look beautiful. If you created a spider web modeled after this one, please make sure to share it with us. You can post it onto our Facebook or our Instagram. We'll see you next time. Thank you.